little something something happened the other day after we caught up. Lizzo just made your fans go berserk. Berserk. And it was like everywhere. Oh my gosh, yes, they got a collab. So now that I've brokered the deal, mm -hmm. is it a done deal? Do you need a broker's fee or something, girl? Sure, why not? We're I mean, I mean, deal. that's a hustler move. If you if you did, right? I mean, I would not <laughs> like to, but I I would have to respect it if you if you granted that. But um, Lizzo is a beast, yeah. and I said it before. I'll say it again. She's so refreshing to our time and our culture and music, and she's everything that every woman wants to be. Every woman wants to be a Lizzo, and, and I think every woman actually has a Lizzo deep down in there, yeah. and she's actually, like, validating that within women and, and making them feel confident, which is everything I stand for, so I admire her a lot. Well, you are an incredible woman yourself, five years now for the Diamond Ball. Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you so much. What are you most proud of accomplishing with your charity? I'm really proud that the, of the fact that people come back year after year. Mm -hmm. I'm also really proud of the fact that a lot of we have a lot of newcomers every year, people yeah. that believe in it. So it's just not like the core foundation of people that believe in the cause and the causes, but there are people who fall in love with what we're doing and they want to join the team every year. We have new people showing up. We have new buyers of tables. Mm -hmm. We have new performers who lend their talents and their gifts. I mean, and they don't have to. Yeah. They have so much going on in their lives. And well, I think that says a lot about you. I think it says a lot about them. Because I can believe in something, but I cannot make anyone believe in that. Mm -hmm. And for them to give their heart, their gifts, their life, their day, their time, mm -hmm. their donations, it, it means a lot. And it's something that cannot go unacknowledged. Absolutely. And you finally, finally, you've given your fans little golden eggs, golden nuggets along the way. Oftentimes, sometimes on Instagram. What is this? Are you hinting to everyone that you're going to be the new Poison Ivy and Batman with one of your Wait, recent? Did I? Yes. Did I hint anything? I, oh, yeah. oh, don't you play this game with me? No, I really want to know. Yes, it said something in one of your recent Instagram posts, like Batmobile, make these oh, fast. that? Yes, people are thinking. Really, oh, that? Oh, you are you serious? Yeah, people are going crazy. No, that has nothing to do with Poison Ivy. Are you sure? That has to do a lot with Batman. I have separate obsessions. Okay. I have a bigger obsession with Poison Ivy. I'm just being honest. <laughs> and yeah, I dyed my hair red because of Uma Thurman uh -huh. in the original. And I'm just. But you could be putting that out there. Why not? You're doing a re You know what? They didn't call me yet. Well, but if they did, I would love to go in and try out because Poison Ivy is like one of my obsessions in life. I did it for Halloween one year. I mean, come on. So now you need to do it on the big screen. I mean, why not? Yeah. Exactly. If it's not me, it has to be you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes! I love you, Ray. I love you. I love you. You're the best. Thank you. <laughs>